Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Let us pray. Father, thank you, O oh God, Father, for your desire for us to make the most of life. Help us to go by your word, led by your Holy Spirit. True unto you, O oh God, that we might be what you have ordained us to be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our topic for this morning devotion is desire a hundredfold increase. Desire a hundredfold increase. Taken from the book of Mark chapter 4 from verse 1 to 9. I read. And he began again to teach by the seaside. And there was gathered unto him a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship and sat in the sea. And the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. And he taught them many things by parables and said unto them in his doctrine, Hacking, there went out a sower to sow, and it came to pass as he sowed. Some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. And some fell on stony ground, where it had not much earth, and immediately sprang up, because he had no depth of earth, it withered. And when the sun was up, it was scorched, because it has no root, and it withered away. And some fell among tongues, and the tongues grew up and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. And some others fell on good ground, and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased, and brought forth some thirty, and some sixty, and some a hundredfold. And he said unto them, He that has ears to hear, let him hear. This is the word of the Lord. Our topic again is desire a hundredfold increase. Four types of soils are depicted in the parable of the sower. Some fell on the pathway and best ate them up. Others fell on rocky soil and withered away. Those among tongues were suffocated. The last group fell on good soil and yielded much fruit. The soil texture affected the level of multiplication of the seed. What kind of soil are you? Is your heart uncultivated and hardened such that the word of God is taken away by the enemy once you hear it? Is your heart like the rocky or thorny soil which does not bear fruit due to persecutions and cares of life? Note that the good soil had different levels of harvest, 30, 60, and even 100-fold increases. This means that the success level experienced by believers on various aspects of the world are different. No man should therefore be your standard. Your role model might only be experiencing a 30-fold increase, while the seed of the world has capacity for a 100-fold multiplication. Hence, Prepare your heart as the word is still being sown in different ways today. Desire and prepare your heart to experience a hundredfold increase on every promise of God. In our text today, we are being reminded of a yearning, a desire, a hunger, and a test to make the best of our life. To make the utmost of every opportunity, place, and time. The word of God is being sown, the same word, to every one of us. And we are being called upon that the level of blessedness depends upon the extent to which we cultivate our heart. Our hearts are not supposed to remain hardened. They are supposed to be worked upon by the word of God that we have stored in our heart. And the Holy Spirit illuminating them such that we are able to put off the old self and put on the new self that is being renewed after the image of God. This we allow for the entrance of the word of God to have its perfect work upon our life, producing the desired 60, 30, or 100 fold. What is your desire today? As you go forth unto the day, do you desire that your life be of only 30 fold, be of 60 fold, or be of 100 fold? It is the desire of God 
that you make full proof of every opportunity that you are given, such that you produce fruits worth a hundredfold. Let us pray. Lord, help me to prepare my heart for a hundredfold increase of your word in my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.